this tradition, you know the history of the series more than anybody else. Do you have to say anything to guys on this team about what's coming Saturday night, regardless of their ranking, just about what this game's about? You know, I think some of the, some of the new guys don't exactly know what's what's happening, but uh, you know, I think a lot of the guys that have been around know know what's up. And you know, this is a personal this is a personal game, and it's uh, you know, it's between us and them. It's a rivalry that goes back for a long time, so it's you know, it's it's real serious. What do you remember about your first play and the first couple of plays in your state in your career? What, what, um, did you have a moment where you went, "Yeah, this is exactly what my brother said it was, my grandfather said it was." It is different. Yeah, they're uh, you know they're a big, strong team, and you know their their linebackers like to stand in there and take hits, and it's you know it's a little different than most other teams. So, you know it's that they come out to compete, so you got to bring all you got. What is this team's mentality? Where do you think this team is right now? Uh, you know, I think we're just we're thriving on the things we're doing well, and we're going to correct our mistakes. And you know, I think uh, I think we're just building each game, and I think you can tell we've gotten better every game. So I think we're just continue doing that. Is there still? confidence even though it seems like nationally not a lot of people are, are giving anybody a chance to upset Alabama right now I, I definitely think there's confidence you know our offense knows our capabilities and uh, you know what we, we we expect greatness and we expect to do it against anybody it's you know it's about our team and not theirs is it a is on Saturday was it a testament to the blocking to the offensive line that that you guys lost Rajon you lost Marlin and, and the running game kept kept churning out yards yeah, you know, the offensive line is doing a really great job communicating and, you know, getting downfield blocks. And so the receivers are doing well blocking too. And, you know, the running backs are running harder than ever, and it's, it's really showed out. What was the, uh, if they're, everything wrapped up and you guys got on the bus and I, I guess then the charter, kind of just what was the atmosphere like, I guess, after the post game stuff with the media? And it was just kind of you guys and looking at each other. You know, uh, we just we're we're coming together as a family, and we know you know we're all each other has, and we're playing for each other. And uh, you know, it doesn't really matter what happens outside the team, but we're gonna we're gonna come together and uh, you know be the best we can be the rest of the season. And I guess that that trip back was it kind of trying to pick each other up? Was it talking about the win? Was it just that one of those dead silent scenes? I mean, kind of what was I guess the flight specifically? Uh, I think a lot. Of, some people, everyone treats it differently. I think some people were, you know, starting to watch film and correcting already, and you know, some people were, you know, focusing on what they did and you know how they can get better. But I mean, overall, I think we're just we realize that you know we got to come together as a team, start playing for each other. And when you're at that kind of mid-season here, you know, is it what's the balance between anger and you know, all right, stepping forward and kind of trying to improve things? You know, you know, it's hard not coming away with these, you know, these tough losses. It's really hard. Um, but I think, you know, nothing, nothing's better than having Alabama, the number one team in the nation, coming in. Like, it just excites the whole team. So, you know, we're, we're all practicing hard. Is it frustrating getting the results that you did and you had a couple of weeks to prepare and get ready and get fired up for this game, yet it didn't work out the way you guys wanted it to? You know, losses are hard, but I think we did a lot of good things and we're going to keep building off that. And I think, uh, I think the team's going to be better. Are you guys still having fun doing what you're doing? Definitely. You know, I think uh, you can see it in the other line, the running backs, you know, even the receivers, quarterbacks, everybody's having a great time out there. You know, we're, we're playing we're playing Tennessee football, and, uh, you know, I think if we can execute our plays, I don't think anybody can stand with us. How proud are you of that offensive line? Again, over 200 yards against Mississippi State, really starting to come around there. Yeah, I'm really proud. They, uh, You know, they're really playing hard. They're communicating well. You know, it's just I think it's – a testament to just some veterans been around for a while and then, you know, just playing hard. For people who don't really know a whole lot about Alabama stuff, uh, what are you seeing from this defense and, and what and the challenge that lies ahead for you guys? Uh, they're really good defense. Uh, they run almost identical to our defense, so it's going to help us out, uh, you know, because we play against them every single week pretty much because we're playing our defense. So, uh, you know, they're a big physical team and, you know, they do everything right, so we're going to have to go out hit them. Is this a game you guys can uh, you guys can win? Definitely, yes, sir. What's it like facing the number one team in America, knowing everybody in the country is going to have their eyes on this game? You know, it's exciting, and you know, it's why it's why someone comes to Tennessee. You get to play the number one team in the nation. You know, Tennessee, Alabama doesn't get any better than that. You know, I know for me and the guys that have been around, we know the tradition, and you know, we're we're excited about it. Okay. You guys are like 19 and a half point underdogs. Nobody's giving you a chance. How do you react to that? You know, the team just focuses on the family and everybody inside. You know, we're not really worried about outside opinions. Does that take some of the pressure off, knowing that nobody expects you to do anything? Um, you know, it's it's Tennessee, Alabama, and, you know, the expectation is to win every time, no matter what.
You just said it yourself, Tennessee, Alabama, considering your family's connection to the program, your connection to Tennessee, what, what does that rivalry mean to you? Uh, the, you know, this game, I think, for everybody, is it's a little more personal than any other games. You know, it's, it's, it's such a rich tradition, and it's the number one team in the nation, so you got to bring everything you got.